Hi guys, Tall Farm Boy here. Just want to show you the next step in making a uh, 23 horsepower Kawasaki, a 25 horsepower. We just upgraded the carburetor and made it where the throttle butterfly is open all the way. Next thing we're going to do is remove this old, which was just the oil filter housing, and we're going to add on this oil cooler unit um, from Kawasaki. The three parts that you need are this upgraded pipe, they call it a joint. Uh, this is the actual oil cooler and you need the little o-ring that fits inside of the oil, co oil cooler there. First thing we got to do is take this old fitting out and uh, what I'm going to use is a pipe wrench. All I've got is a really big pipe wrench but uh, it should work for what we need it to. Just going to put it on there Try to loosen that. I'm gonna try to do it with two hands. Hold on. Okay, I got it broke loose there with pipe wrench. You can kind of see the little spot on there. Just use your fingers here. That sucker's still pretty tight. Ugh. Well, back to the pipe wrench. Coming right out, it's just not quite finger tight, so. Uh, yeah, it's coming out. Let me put the phone down. Alright, back. Finally got that loose enough to take off with my hand. This is the old part. They call it the joint. It's gonna be junk now because you screwed up the threads anyway, but uh don't need it. We're gonna replace all that after we get us a nice clean rag and clean up that oil filter housing right back there. Some close thunder there, close lightning. Got a new shop towel here. Clean up that surface really well there. And uh, we're ready to put this oil cooler on. Pretty straightforward. Just line everything up. Two extra bolts down here. It looks like I'm gonna have to take off. I wonder if those were for mounting some kind of shroud or something. I'm gonna pop those off. Okay, got those little two screws out of the way and uh, got this started right here. This is a one inch size nut, so I'm gonna get a one inch socket, tighten that up. We'll have this thing installed. All right, got it all tightened back up. This is 100% uh, ready now to uh, install our oil filter. Then you're gonna need to start your engine and uh, let the oil circulate, shut it off, and re then refill it. Because when you removed your oil filter, you lost some oil. Plus, you gained some oil capacity by adding this oil cooler on there. So, uh, appreciate you watching. Good luck with your engine. It's gonna add you some uh, longevity to your motor for sure. Uh, keeping that oil cool. So, happy wrenching. Take care.